Good morning, welcome back to Stony Creek. It's going to be a lovely day here, albeit a bit cold this morning. Um, these guys are going to get a, a break, new break today, new paddock. Um, not a lot we did this week. I had to leave leave the farm for a couple of days for, for work. Um, have you ever grown a Yukon or ever heard of a Yukon? I'd, we'd never heard of Yukons, um, but we harvested our first Yukon plant this year. Uh, just last week and that was amazing so hang around and and see a bit of that I hope you enjoy and have a good week today we're harvesting our yacon and Tania got this from a a uh, swap thing and near us divide not, and swap, a divide and swap back in July last year yeah. and it's um, it grew really tall it's like it's over two meters tall and had beautiful yellow flowers on top, a bit like a sunflower, actually. And it's pushed all the ground up underneath there. And, um, Ooh, here they oh, are. look, here's some there. Not sure. This being that this is the first year, when when I got it at the divide and swap, I didn't know where to put it. So I just shoved it in here. But we're going to put, oh man, I can't even pull that in. <laughs> no, you'll need the fork in there. Oh look, so these are tubers, it's like a sweet potato isn't it, because yeah. it's connected and apparently there's tubers that you eat, so it's called a, the other name for it is a Peruvian ground apple because it's sweet, oh that looks like a Jerusalem, <laughs> but maybe. And we had some last year and it's yummy in salads, you grate it or yeah, chop it up sweet. into little um maybe i'll just pull, pull off what i can oh <laughs> it goes a long way yeah. and it's really crunchy you can see yeah there. it's white inside it has a brownie outer skin oh yeah. it's a monster oh i'm just pulling it off but there's we want to save some tubers and replant it somewhere don't we yeah we want to grow a few more of them maybe that'd be yummy pig food it and says it's meant to have uh, rhizomes that are red and the edible oh, it's part. Right down here, yeah, look at that. The edible ones are the brown ones and the, the red ones you replant to grow again. But yeah, it's been a great experiment. Wow. And uh, it's I'm massive. I, it is massive. And there's some of the oh, look at it. rhizomes down in there. Look, it's coming all the way down here. Mm. I don't. Will I just pull them off? Do you think? Yeah, because we don't know where the the bottom of them are. There's a, some that Jerusalem artichoke. Yeah, it's a Jerusalem pig. Food. In amongst it. If I'm trying to loosen it, maybe I get the fork in there, babe. Yeah. I'll pull off what you can. You think? Yep. There's heaps of Ooh. heaps of tubers in amongst it. No wonder it's pushed all the ground out. Yeah. I just got to. Don't want to break ones that we want to replant. No. Maybe you planted in here. It was two, and they're about the size of that. Right. And I just, yeah, chuck them in and hope for the best, really. But yeah, they go down a long way. They do. That looks like a Jerusalem artichoke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can get this one out. Oh. I might need your muscles, Robert. <laughs> Stacks of, um, of tubers under here. We, we need, need a it. need a bigger bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look, look at, at the size of that. Yeah, so this is our first time we've ever grown these. That's amazing. Yeah, make good pig feed. Great pig feed. They're going to love these. But look yeah. at all these. All those so these rhizomes. are the rhizomes that are starting to regrow. Yeah. That will will divide and we'll pop those down near the 
the corn patch, I think. Yeah. Which would be great, great animal food. Us, but we don't need. Look at that bucket. <laughs> I'll tip them out and we'll take a, a yeah, photo of that. There's only too. so many that we need, but there's. Wow, that's a harvest in yeah, the Another so. Jerusalem. Yeah. Fantastic. That's amazing. You can, if you haven't grown it. See yeah, if you can find, see if you can a find bit some and grow it. And it is crunchy, sweet, delicious. It's going into our salad today. Now, this is what we got from what was the size of the tubers that you planted? Probably just two little, little ones, they were like about a couple that, like, yeah, a couple like that that I got from the divide and swap. Yeah, so what a good haul! What a prolific growing tuber mm. plant. I'll definitely grow more of these, but that's what they look we like just inside. It up and they're so crunchy. Yeah, crunchy and yummy. Mm. We're going to see if the pigs like eating your con. I'm sure they will. Crunchy! Oh, no, you're not very good at waiting, no. <laughs> Yum. Listen to the crunch. Hello, Tom. Yeah, they like them. That's another good pig feed, isn't it? Not my bucket. I reckon Dick, they're nice, aren't they? Another good pig feed. Yes, it's a good pig feed. Yeah. Nothing more in the bucket. It's so shiny. It's so shiny. Yes, it's a good one. You're calm. A big success. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry. Oh, you're so heavy. Yeah, a little bit of sunburn. Oh, Harry just fell on top of me. He wants a pat. Hey, are you full? Hey, oh, yummy. <laughs> he just loves having his tummy rub. Hey, don't you? Hey, it's nice in the sun now. Oh, they like them. We'll yeah. grow lots of them for you, boys. We will. Well, for the next lot of pigs. Have a look what they've been doing here in the cover crop. They've been going through. They've found a lot of the radishes yeah. and digging them up. And uh, this will keep them busy for for days and days in here. Done a great job over here too. Hello mate. Yeah, look at this. That's what they're that's what they're eating. Oh, poking the bum. Hello Tom. Are you enjoying this? Is someone eating the sunflower? The one sunflower that grew. Mind you, it was in the middle of um oh no, there it is there. There's the sunflower. They've knocked it over. <laughs> Harry's giving it a go. They've eaten the leaves off of it. They haven't touched any of the peas yet. But there's lots of radishes and, and s sort of rape that they're getting into. <laughs> Tan's getting friendly with the pigs. But they've eaten all those yukon. Very happy, aren't you? Hey. Good job. It's always a pleasure being around the pigs. But uh, they're getting nice and big. So having having another four weeks in these two paddocks with all the cover crop, they should see them put on a lot more weight.
So today um, we just got some trees to plant and I fenced this area off when I put the uh, that fence up when I replaced it and uh, it's been up for about six months, four months, somewhere around there and I prepared the holes earlier and there's a, a dead body in each of those holes. Um, when you've got lots of chickens, you always end Clarify, up with... Clarify, dead body meaning chicken carcasses. <laughs> yeah, chicken <laughs> carcasses. So I've just got a couple of different oak trees to put down here and I'm putting in some black wattles. Um, our daughter gave us these black wattles, so it's not something I want to grow big in this area, but they're fast growing. And once the oaks get up to a good size, then we'll take the, the black wattles out because they they quite often get a, a grub in them and they eat them out and they fall over anyway and rot. So uh, that'll be that. So we'll just put these out where we think we're going to go and then we'll start the process. We're going to have an audience. The girls are so inquisitive, aren't they? <laughs> Watching everything that we do. Yes. So uh, these are the oaks that I'm putting in and I'm, I've got two different types and I'm just alternating between the two. This one's a bit root bound. I'll cut it open. But I'm also using a a mycorrhiza fungi and I've got a, um, a tree fertilizer as well that I'll, I'll put around but these holes I prepared ages ago with um, some chicken bodies, um, mulch, I dug them with the post hole digger um, and then put a, a whole heap of loosen on top of them and mulched on top of that so so with the mycorrhiza. So these little oak trees we grew from seeds, didn't from we? From seeds, yeah. From acorns that we were given. Oh, it's very root bound. So these are what, a year old? Yeah, That's probably. Good, good time to get them in while it's winter and they're dormant. Yeah. And the mycorrhiza is a freeze dry, freeze dried product and it helps promote roots and nutrients and um, helps with the in hard times helps with disease so they it's look just so the, tiny don't they in there now they do yeah but they'll grow into a big majestic tree and I'll have to come back and and give these a water which I've got a a, um, a kelp mix that I'll dissolve in the in the water and, and then I'll come back and put some tree guards around as well. But that's all they need. And just let them do their thing. I also put in a, a fair bit of compost when I planted the holes. And there's lots of worm activity under there. Another job completed. All the trees are in and the tree guards are on. All being fertilised. And there's a little oak tree down the bottom there. And they're all looking nice under the supervision of Tex and his girls. So these tree guards are great. They're um, from Planting Systems Australia. I'll put a link to them on uh, in the descriptions because they're great tree guard. They have lots of different sizes. These ones are great for small trees. Um, the bit of flute in the bottom, the circle, is. Uh, sort of made up in a concave uh, dish like pattern and that helps collect rain. So I think uh, on the bigger tree guards every two mil of rain is equivalent to one, one liter in the tree so these are probably half that because they're a smaller diameter but they're a great system so we'll keep an eye on these oaks and see how they go. I've got another six or seven tree guards or tree breaks to do and uh, this is the start. I've got about 60 oaks to put in over winter and I think I've got 25 um, poplar trees to put in along the uh, laneway in the back paddock there. So they look splendid in a couple of years. 
it'll be good to look back on this video in in five years time and see what it looked like when we started Lily and I are out at the mulch pile just digging up some mulch putting it in the wheelbarrow so I can fill up some of my garden paths it's a beautiful day this morning it's about 9 30 we've had a couple of cold nights three nights ago we got a minus four celsius which is about 25 in 24 25 in Fahrenheit so that's about as cold as it gets but they do generally end up a nice sunny day so thanks for watching and until next time we'll see you back on the farm